Hey yeah, I'm Lizzie from Pippin and Gile and today I'm going to teach you how to make dandelion honey. We run a range of bushcraft and foraging courses in the Brecon Beacons, Mid Wales and South London. So your first step is to collect your dandelions. As you do this, make sure you leave some of them behind. Finding a good supply of dandelions isn't particularly hard. You will end up with yellow fingers while collecting, but don't worry, it doesn't last long. As you're collecting your dandelions, don't forget to pause, absorb the environment around you and listen out for the bird song. So processing those dandelions, what we need to do now is extract all the petals. Find yourself a comfortable seat and just pull them all off. It does feel like a never ending task, but as you can see, the bucket does eventually reduce in size and the dung collection continues to grow. You'll need at least one pint of dandelions for this project. If you get some more, that's even better. Last one. Now that we've got our petals sorted, we are ready to start cooking. So we're just measuring out the volume of about one pint of dandelion petals into a pint mug, popping that into the jar. We're then going to do exactly the same with the water, measure that out and pour it into the pot. Next up, we want to add the sliced lemon and then give it all a really good stir. It can be quite a challenge to persuade your dandelion to sink into the water. Next up, we pop a lid on it and leave it to simmer for half an hour. After it's simmered, let it cool and then leave overnight to steep. The next day, it is time to strain it all and start adding the sugar. First off, we want to make sure that our muslin is well connected to our colander. Now we are ready to strain our dandelion petals. As you do this, make sure to take in a nice deep breath and really inhale that divine smell. I strongly urge you not to give in to the temptation to squeeze that muslin through at this point because if you do, you risk your dandelion honey going cloudy. Now for the best bit, we are going to add our sugar. Dentists, look away now. For the one pint of liquids and dandelions you added at the start, you're going to need to add about 750 grams of sugar. Once you add the sugar, you will get this delicious yellow colour. Return it to the heat and stir gently until all of the sugar has dissolved. Keep stirring and marvel as the colour changes. It will go back to being a clear transparent yellow as you do so. Here it is just beginning to come to a gentle boil on the left hand side. As it comes to the boil, ensure you keep an eye out because once it's a rolling boil, it has the potential to boil over. Once it's been boiling for some time, it's worth testing the set. We're not looking for a firm set, but we are looking for that kind of viscous honey steel. So we're going to use a cold spoon, dip that in and see whether or not we are getting the consistency we would desire. What I'm doing in this clip is just removing a little bit of the scum that starts to form on the surface due to that rapid boil. It just helps have a clean finish on the top of your honey and keep it really long lasting. Once you're happy, your honey has reached its desired viscosity, remove it from the heat and start to think about bottling. Here I'm heating my jars by the side of the fire, but putting them in a warm oven also works. With everything prepared, it is now time for bottling. So I'm using a jug here, a ladle works just as well, or a pan that pours nicely. Just ensure that the rim of your jars doesn't have any honey on it. Once all the lids are on, sit back and enjoy.